day two. Uh, I think today's the 18th. It's Tuesday. I don't know. I always I forget to check. Let's see what day it is. <laughs> because I work for myself, I don't uh, I don't tend to pay attention to stuff. But Jerry's down here somewhere. We don't know where he is. I'm assuming he probably saw my video <laughs> and decided to come down here. I figured he'd be here somewhere, but he's not. But we're gonna. I'm gonna. I had my setup over on that side yesterday and did some digging. Punched a good size hole, but there was only two pieces in that. So I'm gonna check on this side, and then I might. I might come out here and check in front of this as well. Maybe we'll see. So, time to get my water shoes on and. Get some gold. Catch you in a bit. Okay, so I'm gonna take us underwater and get a better look at this bedrock. So let me get the underwater camera and I'll be right with you. Now we'll go over and take a look at that, which I decided not to test pan. That's pretty deep <laughs> on the front side of that bedrock bridge or whatever you want to call it. We'll go over and take a look at that.
I'm hoping to get a better idea myself. Of course, by now I've seen it, because <laughs> you're all seeing it. But while I'm here, I have not seen it yet underwater, so I'm hoping to get a better idea. Uh, it looks pretty smooth down in there. There's a couple spots, as you saw, with uh, black sand. But that could be from us panning and doing work up here. I don't know. So there's really not a lot of crevices. Maybe back over in there there was. And that over there, I have no clue. That's like waist deep. And then the other side of that bedrock bridge, that's... That's got to be at least six feet, maybe eight feet deep. So now I'm going to start doing my, my crevicing. See what I can do with this. I pulled a lot of gold out of here yesterday. Anywhere from seven to 15 pieces per pan. So see what I can do. Pretty interesting. All right. See you in a while. Partial bucket of material. I got this cleaned out fairly good. A little brush, brisk broom thingy. Broke out some more bedrock all throughout here, and got it cleaned up as best I could. I just I missed that right there. <laughs> but now I'm gonna pan it out and see what's in it. I'll let you know. Catch you in a bit. Okay. So. That amounted to two pans, not even completely full. Really mucky, mucky, nasty stuff. <laughs> but ended up to be 42 colors. Nothing really big. But I'll take it and I'm happy with it. Bonus. All right. So I'll either continue on that or, because Jerry, he came down and visited before he left. And of course, years ago, this was all, you could barely see, this was all filled in. This is all overburden. And on the other side of this, just a little ways down, maybe a foot, a foot down from this point, this was all overburden. You could walk through here. So none of this was exposed before. So I might try down in there too, because this all used to be tailing end of an inside bend but now that this great big mound is here and that's there up there water's coming around and now this is an out or this used to be the tailing end of an inside bend so now it's pretty much an outside bend as a result of this overburden up here but it used to be used to be inside so there could be something good down in here all right talk in a while Uh, so I'm up to 87 colors for the day and I've got this further back up in here a lot of clay like substance but it's not really compact clay you can actually see it underneath that piece of bedrock right there which will break out really easy right there But I just, uh, of course I've been filling my classifier and pan and pan it back so far, then fill it again. But I just, uh, just panned it back, brought me up to 87. And there's one piece in there that's pretty good size, got some thickness to it. And the camera's not going to focus, of course. There. A lot of little small stuff, but I have gotten some bigger flakes. That's the biggest one of the day so far. About like 30 mesh, that's that's 20 plus there, easy. So, I think we're probably about done for the day. I did test pan over in here and I didn't really find much of anything. Of course, I didn't go down really deep. Basically, it amounted to one full pan. I classified into my bucket and I was able to pan it all in one pan so who knows and I think I told you all I did do a test over there 
just beyond just beyond that rock right there at the tip of my finger down on the other side of it and there was what two colors in that two or th no three and they were decent size 30 mesh so that's what the goal is going to be the other day I was digging over there over in this area so I need to be on this side which is good because that'll be following the bedrock in all right, so I think that's going to be it for today. My back's pretty whooped from panning. <laughs> so, we'll catch you all later on another trip. Maybe before I leave, I'll go up there and get some underwater shots of the bedrock on the other side. I showed you, of course, this over in here and that bedrock bridge and the other side of it a little bit. So I'll go up in that corner up in there and take some underwater shots of that and that will conclude today take care and thanks for watching if you haven't subscribed go ahead and hit that subscribe button and hit the bell for notifications because you never know when i'm going to do a green mountain gold trap giveaway take care everybody you just go up to I got a lot of things in store for you and Pete. Go ahead. Oh, you do, do ya? One, two, three, four.